Hey guys, this is Soccer Apparel, and I was going to show you guys how I make one of my designs. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to go over here and open a new or a present document. So this is Hatch. It's the embroidery software that I use to make all my designs. It's very simple, and out of all the other competitors, this is, I would say, is one of the cheapest. So there's two boxes right here that I want you to pay attention to. One says digitize open shape and one says digitize closed shape. So I'm going to choose the open shape because we're doing an outline. If you're doing closed, it mainly means that you're doing fills or like coloring in your outline. The next step is to understand the satin, the triple run, and the single. I would generally use everything triple if you're doing the details like around the ears that I'm doing right now. Uh, if you're doing like the outline, the yellow one that I showed that's on the outside of Itadori, that would be a satin outline. The rest of it's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna trace over everything that you see on the picture. I removed some things here and there just because I know that embroidery will not be able to stitch over that. You guys can go ahead and watch you know, what I do while I'm tracing over the, the picture. And right here, you're going to see that I'm also doing a fill stitch, which is now we're switching over from outlining to filling in the colors that we see on the photo. On the bottom right here, you see the color wheel that I have, and I just match all the colors that I have on the photo with that as well. So after outlining the photo with the colors, you're just going to start slowly building the picture that you're trying to create or embroider. Just a tip for while you're digitizing is when you're doing your digitizing, don't worry too much about having it all in one spot. You see with that ear, like there was a separation right there and I could have you know, gone back and do two separate shapes, but the more often that the machine needs to touch the, the thread and cut the needle, the more time you're gonna be sitting in front of that machine. So making it, try to, try to make it like simple and you know, as good as you can at the same time. You don't need to make every little detail, every little shade. You know, just don't worry about it. It is embroidery, so people will understand. So although it's sped up, I, I just want you to pay attention to how I'm filling in his hair. I'm, you know, I'm going to the corners of the hair, and sometimes I'm not going to the corners of his hair. And that's because I'm trying to save myself the amount of thread that I need to stitch out. Because you don't need to go into every little corner of the stitching, because the satin stitch will eventually go over it, the whole entire thing. So you won't notice what's underneath it, or won't care about what's underneath it. So don't really too fret over too much about how how the stitching is, and just remember like to keep it simple. So right here, you're gonna notice that I'm finishing up the details and everything, and now we're moving into the border. All right, so the border is right here. You're gonna see it says rectangle. You're gonna go ahead and click on that, and you're gonna click on the satin stitch that's right here as well. If you would like to copy the numbers that I have as well for width, you are more than welcome to. Uh, 150 is the thickest I'll go because that's a, that's a good size for a border, but 0.100 inches is also good too. So you're going to watch me put out the border. That's how it's going to look whenever we stitch it out. It's a good size. And another feature I wanted to show you was a knife. So that's what the knife icon looks like. What it does is I'll show you right here. I'm clicking outside the photo and then clicking inside of it. It's, it's really what a knife does, you know, it just cuts. So I'm cutting out that part right there. And you saw that it took out that chunk. So this is the final product with the knife in it so you see on the top left there's the border that is taken out of it it'll look a lot cleaner when you stitch it out and on the right side it gives it like this kind of creative flair that i personally like uh, but when i send it to my customer i will send this as well so there's two versions of it i don't know if you saw it because it went fast i give them two options you know one with what they asked me and then two what i personally think would look best so this is the one i like but my customer asked for you know no border so i'm going to respect their wishes and i'm going to show them as well what i think might look good too now i'm just kind of just going back through it uh making sure everything's good sequencing the objects as well and we're going to actually touch into that now sequencing so if you're a beginner embroiderer, you're going to notice that sometimes when you stitch things out, the lines and the colors will tend to go over. So the color might go over or your black line will be too short and it just won't look good. It looks like you're coloring outside the boxes. To prevent that, I'm going to put every outline right after, directly right after the coloring. So you notice how I have the teeth right here. 
I'm going to put the outline directly right after that. So as soon as it's done, it's not going to move or anything because whenever you're stitching out your projects, there will be a lot of pull tension and as well push tension because, you know, the whole time the needle is going in the fabric and it pulls the fabric as well. So by that time that you have that outline, which is maybe, say maybe at the end, at that point, the whole entire stitch will move and that's where you, that's where you get that weird effect where you're, it looks like you're coloring over the line, but your digitizing did not do that. And the last step is going to be exporting your file on your USB drive. So that is, that is it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment sections. I know I went pretty fast and I do intend to make more detailed videos breaking down each of the tools, each of the steps, and, you know, tips and tricks that you guys can learn. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, if you watch the whole video, thank you. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.